Guten Morgen, guten Morgen. Today we're going to be talking about a parking lot. What? Okay, so now we want to look at a couple of things here. So we've got a parking lot. It has parking spaces. This is how we're going to think about the simple sentence structure of German. It's pretty simple, and I think you'll find it to be easy breezy. So that first parking space is the one closest to the school, and it says, hey, I have my first parking space. That first parking space is for nouns, times, and references. <clears throat> so for example, I could say, Herr Dab is cool. And I would look at that and say, Herr Dab is the subject. Okay, granted, Herr Dab, Mr. Dab, is made up of two words, but they count as like one idea. The second thing is, the second parking place. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this is for verbs only. This is only for verbs, and they can only be here if they're conjugated correctly. Okay? So, and this is most of the time. There are a couple of words that come and kick, for the, kick them out, but for right now, it's just the conjugated form of the verbs. <clears throat> All right, then we have general parking. That means everything else in the rest of the lot. Now, this is an oversimplification. However, think about it this way. We start out small where we get the first two words in the sentence correctly. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of the rest. Now, we've got to call in these cars. Hey, you guys going to park or what? Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh, there we go. There's the nouns and, uh, nouns and times. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh, there's the verbs. Vroom, 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 And there's everything else, guys. So great. We have everybody here. Okay. All right. So let me show you what I mean by these different types of words. We have the first parking space for nouns and time references. I put in here pronouns, too, because I was like, you know what? Pronouns are generally the more common. You know, you can still use nouns. But the ish, do, wir, i, you, we, he, she, it, those are the type of words that might go here. Uh, time references look like this. Am Montag. Okay, that counts like one block. Okay, on Monday. Um sieben Uhr, at seven o'clock. And bis ein Uhr. So bis is until. Okay, so until one o'clock. The second parking place is for conjugated verbs. We got to conjugate these guys. How do we do that? I'll tell you, we're going to find. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Welcome to second parking place for verbs that conjugate. So one thing to keep in mind is there are a couple of things here. Uh, we have the drill here, and this is just kind of a, an example of a, a metaphor. Um, but what we have is a drill, and the drill represents the word gehen, okay? But it's only the like the stem of the verb. So ge is the stem or the root, and then all these drill bits are like the endings. And, and sometimes you need a bigger drill bit or a smaller drill bit. And so uh, as you notice here, <clears throat> so gea, so ich gea. Um, you might say, uh, du gehst, right? Or er geht, wir gehen, ihr geht. So either way, it's still using that same uh, root here, or the same stem, is ge. Okay? So just kind of a way to think about that in a uh, visual way. All right, guys, we're going to talk about um, bis, and um. Um, um, um. So, am is used when something happens on a specific day, okay? So, for example, ich gehe zur Schule am Montag, right? On Monday. You could also say, ich habe Geburtstag am Mittwoch, okay? You could also say, ich gehe zum Supermarkt am Mittwoch, okay? Literally done it, but you get the idea. And then there's also um, Donnerstag, Gea ish in die Kirche. 
That's one, that one's a little different because it started with the with the time reference first. So we're going to see uh, in a minute here. We'll see where we go. With that. <clears throat> so bis is used to reference a duration of time, and it ends at some point. Uh, ich bin in der Schule bis drei Uhr zehn. Okay. Or you say bis Montag until Monday. Uh, you could also say ich muss bis sieben Uhr arbeiten. You could also use the word um, which means around, uh, both in reference to time and just literally. There's a word that I love is um armen. So um is around, armen is with your arms. And so you put your arms around somebody and you hug them. I love that one. All right. Uh, but it's also for time, so around a particular time. So if I wanted to express that, like I was going to be uh, home around 10 o'clock, I would say, normalerweise bin ich zu Hause um 10 Uhr. Okay. Uh, you might also say, um 11 Uhr gehen wir nach Hause. Okay. And again, we're, we're starting our, our sentence with these words too. And that's allowable. Ich muss um 7 Uhr arbeiten. Well, okay then. We get the idea. So let's take a quick peek at this again. Again, we're focusing on the first parking space and the second parking space. Uh, in the first parking space, we can have ich, du, wir. We could have um, Montag. We could have um sieben Uhr. We could also have, oh, there's um sieben Uhr again. <laughs> All right. Harry Dab just loves to double up. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens though. Okay. So with the verbs, they have to conjugate. Um, and the conjugation is pretty simple, uh, but we're putting in these in what's called the infinitive form. It's just there with the en, okay? Uh, there's haben, to have, sein, to be. Okay, so let's look at this in making sentences as best we can. It's PowerPoint, it's not perfect. All right, so we know that we have ich, du, and wir, okay, on Montag. Um sieben or and it's probably gonna be um sieben or again. There we go. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay, and then we have gehen. We have haben. But let's say we wanted to take the word, no, um, or the phrase am Montag gehen wir ins Kino. Huh. So notice how this pronoun, the wir, instead of being in that first position, it got kicked over here. And it can do that because a Montag is filling that spot. It means a Montag got there a little bit earlier. And the Ishtu Vier car had to move to the next one out. So you could also say um sieben Uhr haben wir eine Prüfung. Okay, so not too bad. Um, you can also you say um sieben Uhr bin ich. So this is kind of a, a way to explain this uh, and what you're going to be needing for today. Just kind of have this in mind uh, as we're putting these words together, especially um, bis, and um. Okay, so hopefully this was a helpful video.